You know when a horse... <laughs> You know in the, like the Grand National or something when a horse is running and then the jockey falls off and then the horse keeps going and comes in first and then they all go off and then the steward say to that horse, I'm sorry mate, your jockey fell off, it doesn't count. <laughs> that moment where the horse thinks, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> that is unyimful. <laughs> Have you got mascots today? Rod, have you got a mascot? Uh, I'm wearing my uh, lucky pants. <laughs> your, your lucky pants? I'm wearing my lucky underpants, yeah. I've had them since the 1980s and I've worn them for school exams, university exams, my wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the fact that your undercarriage hasn't grown since you were in school is quite unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, they're unfeasibly tight. <laughs> Can we, can we see the said lucky pants? <laughs> I can show you them if you want. Yeah, sure. Nothing ready to see, they're just a... You know, you, just a regular pair of... Oh, a, a regular pair of lucky... Lucky pants, sir. Just, uh, <laughs> just a regular... Rod, are you off the are you off the Jamie Dodgers? I thought you'd be a Jamie Dodger man. No, I, yeah, I quite like, but it's. I mean, I normally. <laughs> Get in the bucket. So, no, do... <laughs> do what do what birds do. What do birds do? You feed it to me. I'll chew it up and spit oh. it back in your mouth. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'm definitely going to throw her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to upset you by saying this, but you're quite an angry man a lot of the time. Are there any words uh, that rile you? There's only one thing that's got in common with me being angry every time I'm on this show, and that's you. <laughs> <laughs> but are there any words that get you kind of irritate you? I get angry with the things that the words <laughs> represent. I find there's no point in getting angry with the words themselves. <laughs> it's just shooting the messenger. <laughs> so angry, I did get angry when they didn't allow Forsake. He didn't allow oh, it. Oh, I know. That was I tough. I thought you should have let me have that. It was tough. And I could just let you know right now tonight, Henning, if there is any trouble like that. I'll I'm be... here to sort it out, don't Yes, worry. well, <laughs> you better sort it out in my favour. I'll vote for you, Kip, and you immediately after the show will be deported. <laughs> Rod, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I've messed up a bit, though, because I brought a mascot that I thought would wind John up and throw him and psych him out and completely mess with his head and put him off for the whole game. Right. Yeah, and then it backfired because I got put on his team. <laughs> well, we have to see the mascot. Well, no, we don't. It's part of the, part of the show. <laughs> I know it's part of the show, but fuck it. <laughs> well, let's have a look at it. Well, but it's going to mess him up, and he's on my team. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll be well, fine I with this. The one I don't thing think he'd I even know mind. would mess with his head like really bad. <laughs> it's just a really untidy, disordered cutlery drawer. <laughs> well, we need. You give him something to do there. <laughs> He's so it's excited do it. at the, just what this is going to look like by the end. Are you still sorting the cutlery out? Well, I've done the best I can, Jimmy, but I've got serious questions about your diet, Rod, if this is your cutlery tray. I mean, who has six dessert forks and two regular forks? <laughs> and I've separated one soup thing spoons that, from... With you, it's like, I know I can just do that. You go mental. Watch me go mental. No, you won't like it. And genuinely, you won't like it. You won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's Uncle Apples all over again. <laughs> uh, uh, Rod, you're surprisingly good at Countdown. Uh, take a look at your When opponent. you say surprisingly, what do you mean to me? <laughs> I, I was surprised at how good you were. Why were you surprised how good I was? Because of how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> as you were. <work. laughs> do you think you're going to win against these two? The only chance we're going to lose... I'm quite good at the letters, I'm all right, but numbers is my... I'm much better on the words than I am on the numbers. I'll prove it to you, Jimmy. Think of a number between one and ten. Don't tell me. Think of it. OK. OK. <laughs> and reveal it now. Seven. 
See? Not very good with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, words and letters. OK, let's make this interesting. Think of a number between one and a thousand. Any number you like. Yeah. Don't want to change your mind? <laughs> <laughs> He's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Johnny? In my underpants. <laughs> Have a little route around in there. <laughs> It's in the pants. Oh, oh yeah, all the all the the pants. Yeah. I thought it was in your anus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we found it. Is that a se <laughs> Why would you smell that, Johnny? Well, I've been told that I smell better from behind than I do from the front. <laughs> so that bit in between. You, you, what sorry, you smell I'm, more? I'm wondering what if do you I do, can sorry? trap the journey. <laughs> from... Johnny smells better from behind than he does from the front. <laughs> no, lovers have told me. <laughs> lovers have told me. Date night, if I come in the room backwards, it helps to maintain <laughs> the mood. Okay, what's written on the paper? You remember, it's a number between one and a thousand you chose, Jimmy. Yes. Keep it in your head. Let's have okay. a look, Johnny. Oh, what was it? What was it? Uh, 999. <gasps> 999. Oh. Better with words and letters than I am with numbers. <laughs> Could you smack uh, Rod on the back of the head? <laughs> nine! <laughs> a nine-letter word, OK. I've got a uh, nine-letter word, although I think... I think what you're going to say is that a lot of the letters don't need to be there. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I've got a definite seven, right? Possible eight. Ooh. OK. Now, how do I play this, Jimmy? Definite seven. How do you play this? Yeah. You've got to give us a seven, cos you said seven. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the seven, a definite urinate. <laughs> See, I would argue the possible eight is if you said, who's that urinator over there? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? You winded me up. It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan, it's to create buzz. It's too hot. It's this is years. the same it's... temperature as something that's burning. Because it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? <laughs> They lived in the Pink Palace, it's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting them. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could... <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What would your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. <laughs> I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an accountant, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs>